Hello students. Uh, in the today's session, we'll talk about the pharmacology of uh, adenosine and we'll also talk about the pharmacology of caffeine. Now, adenosine plays a very important role in the induction of sleep. Whereas uh, we know that caffeine, caffeine is a uh, CNS stimulant, it is a psychostimulant and it causes mental alertness and it produces wakefulness. So we'll be discussing the pharmacology of uh, adenosine, that how it induces sleep. And further we'll talk about the pharmacology of caffeine, that how caffeine induces wakefulness and mental alertness. Now first we'll talk about the pharmacology of adenosine. Now extracellular concentration of adenosine, uh, that is increase in the uh, cortex and basal forebrain during wakefulness. Uh, this means that uh, the concentration or the level of adenosine increases in the brain, uh, preferably in the cortex and the basal forebrain during wakefulness. Now, as the duration of wakefulness increases, there is rise or there is further increase in the level of adenosine. Now, this adenosine uh, then binds to its two receptors, that is uh, adenosine 1 receptor, A1 receptor and A2A receptor. This adenosine it binds to its two receptors that is A1 receptor and A2A receptors and induces sleep. So that means binding of adenosine to uh, its A1 receptor and A2A receptor induces sleep. Now here uh, the role of adenosine 2A receptor is uh, comparatively more, uh, is predominantly more compared to the role of uh, adenosine 1 receptors in the induction of sleep and uh, this means that during sleep uh, again the level of adenosine fall and during wakefulness again the level of uh, adenos adenosine rises. So uh, during wakefulness there is increase in the level of adenosine and during sleep there is fall in the level of adenosine and further uh, there is fall in the level of adenosine during sleep recovery period. Now uh, this is a diagram, uh, this diagram exhibits the formation of adenosine and uh, this diagram explains how the level of adenosine rises uh, during wakefulness. Uh, so uh, this, is the, um, this is a diagram that exhibits formation of adenosine. This is a nerve cell. Now uh, inside the cell, inside the cell uh, adenosine is formed from three sources. First source is ATP that is the adenosine triphosphate. So adenosine triphosphate is converted into cyclic AMP. It is converted into cyclic AMP that is cyclic uh, adenosine monophosphate by the enzyme adenyl cyclase. And further cyclic AMP is converted into AMP that is the aden uh, uh, adenosine monophosphate by utilizing the enzyme phosphodiasterase. Now this AMP is further uh, broken down to release adenosine by the enzyme uh, 5 nucleotidase. Uh, so inside the cell um, adenosine is formed from three sources. First is the ATP, another second source is a cyclic AMP and the third source is the SAH that, that is S adenosyl homocysteine. So inside the cell, inside the neuron adenosine is formed from the three sources. Now if there is rise in the level of adenosine during wakefulness this adenosine is transported outside the cell by the utilization of equilibrative nucleoside transporter so this equilibrative nucleoside transporter transports uh, adenosine from the intracellular uh, from the intracellular that is from inside the cell to the extracellular fluid uh, and during the wakefulness there is uh, increase in the level of adenosine inside the cell further there is increase in the level of adenosine outside the cell now outside the cell uh, there are again three sources for the formation of uh, adenosine one is the equi equilibrative nucleoside transporter this we have already seen another is the ATP and the third is the cyclic AMP so this is how uh, there is formation of uh, adenosine and uh, this uh, concentration of adenosine it rises during wakefulness and as the duration of wakeful, wakefulness rises 
or increases there is increase in the level of adenosine and this adenosine then binds to its receptors that is a a1 receptor which is a g protein coupled receptor inhibitory receptor and it also binds to its a2a receptor which is a stimulatory receptor g protein coupled stimulatory receptor and it induces a sleep now here one important thing to note over here is this that uh, uh, it is a uh, adenosine 2a receptor which has a predominant role in the induction of sleep compared to the a1 receptor now uh, further uh, what is the pharmacology of further we'll discuss the pharmacology of adenosine uh, now this slide further explains the uh, pharmacology of uh, adenosine uh, so uh, during wakefulness uh, when the person is awake uh, there is little adenosine in neurons now continued wakeful state or increase in the uh, duration of wakefulness increases the generation of adenosine and there is increase in the adenosine at the synapse now this adenosine binds to its receptors uh, a1 receptor and a2 a receptor now activation of a1 receptor in lateral uh, preoptic area promotes wakefulness activation of uh, a1 uh, receptor in basal foramen uh, then in the tmn that is the tubero uh, mammillary uh, nucleus and lateral hypothalamus induces sleep uh, so and apart from this adenosine binds to its uh, uh, a2a receptor activation of a2a receptor in caudate uh, putamen nucleus accumbens tuberculum olfactorium olfactory bulb induces increase in sleep so the uh, major role is of a2a receptor in the induction of sleep major role is of the binding of adenosine with the uh, adenosine 2a receptor and it causes induction of sleep so this is the pharmacology of adenosine and how adenosine by binding to its uh, a2a receptor induces sleep now let's study the pharmacology of caffeine caffeine is a cns stimulant it is a psychostimulant and uh, caffeine causes mental alertness uh, it also induces wakefulness uh, its role in the wakefulness is very important caffeine is uh, adenosine a1 receptor and a2a receptor antagonist it uh, produces arousal or wakefulness uh, effect is mediated predominantly by adenosine 2a receptor uh, this we have already seen that caffeine it uh, is an antagonist of adenosine 2a receptor it uh, 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 it prevents the binding of adenosine to adenosine 2a receptor thereby uh, inhibiting the process of sleep and causing uh, wakefulness caffeine produces sense of well-being alertness allays fatigue reduces fatigue improves performance and beats boredom side effects include insomnia agitation uh, anxiety dizziness diarrhea thirst increase in the frequency of urination uh, very high doses can produce fever uh, toxic doses can produce seizure uh, psychosis dysarrhythmia myocardial infarction and cardiovascular collapse so this is all about the uh, pharmacology of uh, adenosine and caffeine how adenosine produces uh, uh, induces sleep and how caffeine uh, causes mental alertness and wakefulness uh, thanks for watching the video.